Five Guys Burgers and Fries, a chain of restaurants that, in my opinion, is rare. You see, I'm in the Appalachians, and there's not really much Five Guys around my local area. You would have to go at least two hours out of the city for that. One day, my friend was being super generous, and he told me that we were going to Five Guys. I couldn't have burgers because I was a vegetarian and I used to fuck kale every Tuesday. Well, it was the day that we had to go. It was like a field trip. I remember packing everything I need. Water, condoms, and definitely lots and lots of insurance. We hauled in the car and after a quick round of dabs, we walked right in the five guys. Something seemed off my friend sat down he's like go get us something to drink so I did but then someone came in and he ordered the wrong thing hi Hello. welcome to Grilk okay. can I take your order uh, can I have a salad can I take your order? Uh, yeah. Have a salad? The man looked firm as the cashier looked super dishuffled. He was small, Caucasian, and had glasses, and his name was Daniel. We don't do that around here. Oh, what do you mean? Why? <laughs> we don't fucking do... Oh, God. We don't fucking do that around here. <laughs> now, can I take your order? Hear me out. So, uh, do you have any lettuce and, like, carrots and uh, stuff you put into a bowl like that? Just that alone? We don't do that here. Why not? It's like not that big of a deal, man. It's just a salad. Out of nowhere came this... Really tall, mixed person. His name was Emmanuel. He came out and he tried to keep pushing sales on people. Oh, come on. I don't want your barbecue burger, dude. Look, it's just really good barbecue sauce. It's like homemade. Come on, I don't. I think you'll really enjoy it. I was horrified what I was witnessing. This was harassment to the customer 100%. Emmanuel jumped over the counter and started tackling the man. Emmanuel then proceeded to pry open his mouth. And shit right down his throat. You look like the mouse from Fantasia. What the fuck are you doing? A big tall man then came out and piled drive the manual to the ground and started beating him in. He then took what was called a barbecue sandwich and stuffed it down his throat. <coughs> shit, shit, yeah. Shit, shit, yeah. How can I help you here? Have you got your food yet, sir? No, I ordered a salad. I want a salad. Listen, listen, let me just level with you here. Let me just level with you. Yeah. We we don't do that around here. I don't know what you're getting. I don't know what context it is. It's not even in the title. Look, it's in the cold and condolences. We cannot do that. We can't do salads. Why? Salads are deemed is... as illegal in the city. All right. And illegal. Really... That is outright fucking stupid. What, what do you mean it's outright stupid? It's like, what is so dangerous about a salad, dude? Well, you know, something really terrible happened in the city with a salad two years ago. <laughs> and that's my problem? Yes, it is exactly everyone's problem, actually. It's part of the ecosystem, you know, it kind of blames global warming. Yeah, well, I just want a fucking salad. <sighs> See, that's the part you don't understand. Okay, sir, we'll give you a side salad. Fine, that'll do. He then stormed back into the kitchen and lights went off. <laughs> oh. 
Take a seat, sir. It will be a few minutes. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. Daniel and Urin both rolled a card out with a tray over a plate. Here you go. Here's your side salad. Cool. Thank you. Are you ready for this really good meal? Uh, I guess so. Here, let me cut it up for you. Uh, th thank you. He lifts out the lid and shows a really big, beautiful salad. Whoa. Everything on it. He gets ready to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, a greasy <laughs> cock just pops right out of the fucking salad. Oh, no. I was starting to get really concerned for this customer. He was going through, obviously, nothing that he should be going through. I tried to call customer service, and it led to a suicide hotline. Hello, you reached a suicide hotline. If you would like to talk about how you want to end your life, you can talk to one of our people. Hit the one button right now for consultants. Boom. You have reached Bill. You have reached Jim, Joe, Jacqueline, Jacoby. The phone instantly hanged up, and I knew it was no use at this point. He was on the other line snickering. When life gets out of control, shape your lips like a He then continued to fuck the salad really violently while All Is Well was playing. All is well. All is well. All is well. Would you like a soda with that? And then while all this was happening, it was turning into a Bollywood musical. I started to feel threatened, and I ended up into the corner. I tried, you know, ripping the wall plug out and crawling through the hole, but I was a Catholic priest, and I couldn't fit in small places. So then I suddenly started bashing on the wall, banging until my shoulder couldn't take it anymore. I thought there was only one more desperate attempt. I ripped my cock out, and it was veiny and hard as a rock. I quickly slammed it into the wall, fucking the wall open into another dimension. And I slipped and fell in. My door, shaped, melted cock, was slipping through another dimension. The door was still attached to my fallacious cock. Meanwhile, he was completely done with the salad. <clears throat> oh, there. Enjoy that ranch dressing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, get out of my store. But I want to enjoy the salad. Oh, you'll fucking enjoy it after I piss on it. I'm just kidding. I'm going to fucking shove this ah, in my asshole. You ain't going to do shit. Come on. Oh. 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 The manager started sliding his asshole up and down on a bedpost and freaking out. It was so disgusting that I mentioned that I work at a fish shop. 